Hey, what's up you guys? I don't think I've ever filmed from this angle. What a strange perspective. You never see the side of me. It's like you never see the back of me. For all you know, the back of my head looks so weird. Not the point of this video. So this video is actually going to be sort of a video response to Arden Rose's recent video. The lovely human that is Arden Rose. So Arden recently posted a video called Why I Never Had Girlfriends. And it was basically about how growing up, she didn't like girls and she felt very weird about it. And I was super interested in this video. Like I somehow felt like I related to it in a lot of ways that I didn't think I would necessarily. So today I wanna to talk about that. I wanna talk about why I never had boyfriends growing up. Also, can we talk about quickly how it is very strange for a boy to call his friends boyfriends? Like, why is that strange? Why don't boys do that? Why, don't, why do girls get to call their girlfriends girlfriends, but boys can't call their boyfriends boyfriends? I don't know, gender roles are stupid. I really hate that. That's a different video, that's a different rant. So I can remember growing up and from a very young age, always being more interested in having girlfriends. There was something about girls that I just found more appealing in a weird way. Like I just wanted to be around girls because I thought they were more fun, I thought they were nicer. And I don't know, I just chose girls from the very beginning over guys. And it kind of went that way for a long time in my life. I remember always wanting to have more girlfriends than boyfriends. And this is not to say that I didn't have any friends that were boys growing up, I did have friends, but it was always a weird thing for me. I almost, in a weird way, didn't want to have friends that were boys. After watching Arden's video, it made me really think about how I see boys and how I see girls. More importantly, how I used to see boys and how I used to see girls. I felt like I used to see all boys as mean, as crude, as offensive, as angry. And I used to categorize almost every boy that I met in that category. And I somehow convinced myself that that's how most boys were or all boys were. And I think that's why I decided, I was like, I like girls. Like I'm just going to hang out with girls and I'm going to have mostly girlfriends because they are nicer and they are sweeter and they are kinder and just overall better people. I remember growing up when you had to like pick partners in school for school projects and stuff, I would nine times out of 10, look to a friend that was a girl and pick her. Or if you were like in a new class and you had to pick partners with a complete stranger, I would always look to the girls. I was very afraid of boys. Because again, I hadn't convinced myself for some reason that boys will be mean. I can't pick a boy. If I talk to a girl, she'll be very nice. So it was this kind of weird thing that I'd got myself into that I just like kept choosing girls over boys for some reason. And some of this maybe because I was gay, but I just felt like I couldn't relate to certain boys. I remember my brother growing up to bring over his friends and I was just like, I don't get it. I'm like, how come my brother can have friends that are boys and they can like watch sports and play sports and they all like it. It was the weirdest thing that they all like liked it and they didn't question it. Because anytime I was ever thrown into a situation where I like was doing that, I didn't like it. Or if I ever had male friends over, I felt like I, we had to do those things and I didn't like those things and it felt so forced. I vividly remember watching sports with my brother and his friends and just like getting so bored so quickly and I would go upstairs and watch America's Next Top Model instead. And that's, again, this is all like leading to a different video topic. But in general, I just, I couldn't relate to boys and then I put them in this category that they were all like that and they were all unrelatable to me and that I would never be able to be friends with them because of that. But it wasn't until later in life that I really realized that not all, that like everyone is different in general, that I was so close-minded by categorizing all boys like that. When I got to college, I made so many male friends. Everyone that was on my cross country team and my swim team, they were all like nice, kind people. They did not fit into like any of the categories that I had assigned to all males in existence. They were nice, they were kind, they were respectful. Sure, of course they like liked sports and they were like manly and blah, 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 but they weren't mean. And I think I just had associated for so long that all men were mean and scary that I didn't think it was possible for these new friends of mine for anyone for that matter to be like that. So I remember it just threw me for the biggest loop once I realized that, that like not all men were mean and also that not all girls are nice. Again, I had categories that like all girls are nice and all men are mean and like obviously there's so much crossover. Those types of emotions have literally nothing to do with your gender. Those interests have nothing to do with a gender. And growing up I had assigned certain emotions and certain interests purely to someone's gender. And as I've gotten older, I obviously have realized that that's just so wrong in so many ways. It's even weird to think of it now that I would not be friends with someone because they were a boy or because they had certain interests. I'm friends with people 
if I like that person. And I definitely progress and I don't like categorize people before I meet them or I don't stereotype people before I meet them. It's been a long road, let me tell you, because the more I think about this, the more it really did like shape who I was for the longest period of time. And for the longest time, it also made me just feel so bad about myself. I was like, why can't I do this? So many other people are doing this. My brother has friends that are boys. The boys in my school have friends that are boys, but I don't want to have friends that are boys. But yeah, so I just, when I saw Arden's video, I just realized that I could relate to that in some way. Hers is definitely different than my experience, but I realized that it kind of triggered something like, oh my God, me too. That happened to me. That kind of happened to me. I understand where you're coming from. But if there are any takeaways from this, it is don't judge a book by its cover. Don't categorize people and don't judge them. Get to know people. If you've convinced yourself for the longest time you can't be friends with a certain type of person, try being friends with that type of person. Da -da -ding. Try being friends with that type of person because maybe you have for some reason convinced yourself that that type of person is that way when there's a good chance that they're not. You're probably just basing your experience off a past type of person and you're judging it on this current type of person. Wow, this is really hard to explain. <laughs> it makes sense in my head, so I hope it's translating to you guys. But yeah, so... What do you guys think about this? Do you have a mixture of friends that are boys? Do you have a mixture of friends that are girls? Does that matter to you? Why does that matter to you? I don't know, just leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this little discussion, make sure to click the thumbs up button because it really helps. Pause. I totally forgot to include this in the video, but I wanted to make sure I told you guys that I am going to camp this summer. Well, I mean, you guys are going to camp too, if you want, with me as a counselor. This August, I'm teaming up with Camp 17 and taking over Camp Beaver in Wisconsin for five full days. That's five full days. Five full days right there. And yeah, I'm really excited because there's only 250 spots, so I get to hang out in a relatively intimate setting with you guys. And I'll teach you about my creative process, I'll teach you about YouTube videos, I'll teach you about photography, basically anything creative I'll be teaching you about. So yeah, if you guys want any more info on that, make sure to click the link down below and go to gocamp17.com. The link will be down below, so click that, go register, and I'll see you at camp. Okay, unpause. And if you enjoyed me, click subscribe for more videos. I upload them every week. And if you want to check out my brand, Common Culture, click the link down below because we have new products up, going up all the time, probably soon, maybe not now. P.S. This sweater is so old and I found it in the back of my closet and I was like, I need to wear it. Why haven't I worn this in a video recently? It's like years old. It's basically vintage. I'm trendy as fuck. Okay guys, but that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna go. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to big thumbs up, leave a comment below. Bye.